When we're making a plan to shape our city and area for the next 20 years, we want local people to have a say in where they live and work. People are really engaged in this area and we had over 9,500 comments from our last public consultation. And these comments can be about anything from basic utilities like uh, traffic lights and lampposts through to um, some of the unique challenges we face in Cambridge such as the amount of pedestrians, cyclists and vehicles sharing the same spaces as well as trying to preserve and protect um, the special qualities and features um, that we see in this area. And I believe going through these representations take around 450 days? That's right, it takes the team about 450 days to work through all of the comments before we can then move on to the next stage of the process. So we really want to find a, a better way to, to summarise all of the comments uh, and speed up the process. We're currently working with the University of Liverpool to develop a bespoke AI language tool that can summarise all of the comments. And we're hoping it could save at least 60% of the time compared to what it does now, so about half a year. Before we developed the tool, we were connected with AI at CAM and you and your team, Quadro, to understand the ethical considerations around developing such a tool. And it's very important, rightly so, because first and foremost, you are a local authority working directly with the public, and so that's important. Ethics cannot be ruled out of the picture at all, because previous attempts elsewhere, for instance in San Francisco where they attempted predictive policing, uh, had to be cancelled because of discriminatory outcomes and also the sidewalks project in Toronto also faced challenges, significant challenges and had to be cancelled because of privacy concerns. So really, in order to understand what the AI-based tool can and cannot do in analysing the, the representations, it's important to put ethics right at the heart of it. Yes, that's right. We really want to make sure that what we do is, is right from the start and is also right for our local area. This is exactly what our project at AI at CAM is about, ensuring that public value is at the heart of AI use. Together with colleagues at the University of Cambridge and Anglia Ruskin University, our work involves ensuring that potential ethical issues around trust and transparency for such AI users can be addressed. Our focus is to ensure that it's accurate and it's representative of what the public comments are about. And we also seek to explore the development of a stage gate process as part of evaluating how this um, AI-based tool would work, where we'd have an experienced professional who would evaluate every step of the process where the AI-based tool will feed into in the decision-making process. So the stage gate process means that there's a human decision maker at the right points in the process? Exactly so. And this is important to ensure that there's transparency in the process, emphasising accuracy of the outputs. And this is important for tackling any potential bias um, and maintaining the public's trust. Our vision is to work with local authorities to ensure that ethical considerations are at the heart of AI development.